okay we're just going to go back and have a look at uh, what we've got. I've just um, to link it in with an earlier video if I go to my consumer my Kafka consumer which is on the right hand screen um, and I want to look at the command for this I've done a slight change to this. I've added this uh, from beginning at the end of the command um, and I've also changed this from localhost so let's just pop that back to localhost and fire that up. So that's the uh, it's in the bin Kafka console console. Uh, so we look at the script there. Bootstrap server is localhost 9092. Topic is my first topic, and it's from the beginning. So press return on that one, and boom, there we are. That's all the stuff that was in there before, uh, from beginning till now. So uh, alarm clear, and that's cleared. Good. Okay. So that's proven we've got communication between those two. I'm just going to stop the server. And uh, we'll get a few errors coming out to, to, to back that up <laughs> uh, on those two. Don't worry about that, that's fine. I'm just going to go in and edit the server properties in the config directory. Now, what we can see in here is when it's set up initially, the listener that's set up here is, well, it's localhost. It will just take that from what it sees as the IP connect. Um, configuration within so I've only set it up as localhost when I started it right so that's what it also think it is so come out of there for a moment and start the server again and you'll see that the the two will start automatically and if I go in and press return there we go so so just do an alarm there look and, and clear okay so that it's working so that's that's all all good and dandy and that fits really what we have down here so I'm just going to stop the consumer back through the command history scroll all the way back to where it was localhost and change it to its actual IP address which is for that particular host machine is 235 and see what we get in there right good so we can see that that's working now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a third machine uh, well a third our window it's on a second machine it's on a second server uh, this particular one is on 215 right uh, and we've got Kafka and I've run up Kafka I've run up Zookeeper and the Kafka server so that's running here locally as well but I want this to be a consumer uh, of that uh, uh, remote server so I want 215 to be a consumer of 235 so here we go so again it'll have the same sort of things as before so Kafka um, and it's a console uh, consumer uh, and I keep forgetting to put this on the end which does make life a lot easier um, it's a bootstrap server and the bootstrap server is 192.168.1.235.9092 the topic is my first topic and I want that from the beginning okay so I want that from the beginning let's see what happens hmm it's not good then okay stop that command right nothing coming through now, if you have a look on Wireshark you probably get a lot of finax and pushes and things uh, it's just not it's not connecting okay so I'm going to stop the server once again so we see the error messages uh, hang, hanging behind there. You can see we had Wireshark running in here as well to see the sort of stuff. You can see these Finax here. There's, there's, it's not it's not happening. It's not it's not liking it. I don't think. Let's have a look. See, yep, you see it. It's, it is still running. Okay, back into that configuration file. So sudo nano and then in the config directory server properties. Scroll down to listeners and change the listener statement here now so that it will actually listen so we need that I kept removing this uh, and uh, it's my own fault so you should really put it in the format of and then 9092 okay make sure everything's good and dandy that looks fine to me okay and control X and yes to that so I'll start the server again so here it goes with the server properties we've now changed so let's have a look at our existing two at this end so this is the ones that are resident these these two windows are actually on the original server so the 
server that we've just started. So let's have a look and see. Is it, uh, it seems to be doing stuff at the background here. Let's press return a couple of times. See if we can get anything going. See if we get anything picked up at the far end. It's not very stable. Let's, let's do a stop and a start. And we'll do the same at this end. We don't always have to do a stop and a start, but sometimes it helps. Control C to break out of that. It'll come. It'll come. There we go, we're out. Right, I'm going to start him again from the beginning. There we go, that looks good. Clear the alarms. Well, he certainly doesn't like it at that end. So what we'll do is we'll change that to 192.168.1.235. That's better. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Yep, alarm two, just to make sure we got that. Yep, good. Here's that other beastie. Let's see. Wouldn't work before. And here we go. So we're expecting to see the stuff from the beginning. There it is. You have to wait a little while just for that, obviously, to, to get started. And it scrolls all the way back up through all of the previous alarms of the previous history. So all is good. So let's put alarm number three into the equation. Squeeze that up to the top. And if we put alarm three in, we should see the message appearing on both consumers. So that's good, that works. And that's all as a result of going in and making those changes. And we can see some nice TCP activity going on in the background uh, as a result uh, of that. So uh, time to have a little bit of a play with me good old Wireshark. So that's Kafka working now with uh, a local consumer and a remote consumer. So the next thing to do, of course, is secure those connections to make sure that everybody is nicely, securely exchanging messages. Well, we'll do that in another video. So, bye for now.